Now to a new documentary. It's turning the spotlight on a cold case that has haunted an Indiana town for more than three decades. Denise Flum was a senior at Connorsville High School with a bright future ahead of her in 1986. She told her parents that she was running out to get something and she never returned. News Nation's Kelly Beeson joining us now with the latest on the case. Kelly. Well, Marty, this case has frustrated investigators for 35 years. One man confessed to police on videotape and then recanted. Two others have allegedly made drunken barroom confessions, but in a room with police, their lips are sealed. And through it all, a family is just hoping to find out what happened to their teenage daughter. Eighteen-year-old Denise Flum was a star student planning to study microbiology in college. She played four sports, her photo appearing in the local paper from high school competitions. And then March 28, 1986, she was suddenly gone. The previous night, she had been at a bonfire and forgotten her purse. The last time her family saw her, she said she was going to look for it. The next day, a farmer reported her car along this lane, three miles from the party site. The car locked and no sign of flow. And they parked it back there next to an old barn. Denise's father, David, still visiting the site after three decades. So as they come down this road, they knew exactly where they were going. The Flum suspected Denise's high school boyfriend, Sean McClung, knew something about what happened. But the case went cold, 34 years with no body and no arrests. Then in July of 2020, McClung, who was terminally ill, agreed to a bargain. He confessed to killing Denise and would lead police to her body in exchange for his freedom. I put my hands on her to push her to the ground. Did you kill Denise Flum? But Denise's mother says McClung's information never quite fit, and he wasn't able to lead them to a body. A few months later, he recanted his confession, saying he only said it to gain his freedom. He died in September of 2020, still in jail. Now a new documentary on Vice is looking at the case and alleged admissions by others who may have been involved. I've heard him say it, but you never knew if he was serious. If these dogs hit on this pond, it's a huge deal. Now, Denise's parents told us they never believed the confession from the high school boyfriend, Sean McClung, but they did think he knew something about what happened and took that information to his grave. The Fayette County Sheriff's Department says it continues to investigate the case and hopes to find justice for Denise Flum and her family. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.